Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kim and I blog over at Salvaged Living where I do lots of easy DIY for a life at home redeemed. Today I have a super fun video for you guys. One of my favorite places in the entire world. My adult Disneyland is Round Top, Texas. So if you aren't familiar with Round Top, you should be. If you love to thrift or junk or vintage hunt and love antiques, and just good bargains and good, dirty, crunchy, rusty, yummy stuff, this is totally the place for you. If you've never been, you should put it on your bucket list. It's down in the little town of Round Top, Texas that has a population of about 100 people most of the year. But twice a year, about 20 or 30,000 people descend on this tiny town and there's miles and miles and fields and fields full of tents. And vendors come from all over the United States, some from other parts of the world, to sell their vintage goodies. And it is the most fun. I've gone for, I don't know, almost 20 years now. So I'm kind of, sort of a small round top expert, if you will. Um, it's truly my happy place. And what I've been doing for years is highlighting the trends that I see there. It's kind of interesting to find that vintage items really do have trends. You'll start to see things surface over and over in decor and in magazines. And I think that has to do with what's available through these kinds of vendors and these kinds of markets. So I love to go walk the fields, walk the tents, go through the shops and see what I see on repeat and then bring it back to you guys and let you know what you can be looking for when you go out thrifting or junking when you're hitting a garage sale or flea market, something like that, just to keep your eyes peeled for the things that are hot right now in the vintage scene. So I'm going to get started. I hope that you love this list. If you want to see some other lists from trends of years past, or really just get more information about Round Top, there's a ton of information on my blog and I would love to have you go check it out because I would really love to assist you in shopping in this wonderful place. I adore it. I can't say it enough. So let's dig in to that top 15 list of trends from the Round Top Fall Show of 2021. Here we go. All right, you guys, the first thing, and these are in no particular order, but dried nature. One of my favorite things about Round Top is the way that the vendors uh, decorate and style their tents. It's fabulous. I am always inspired. And there's a couple of tents in particular that I go to that just have a great eye for style. And they often add in natural elements, usually dried cotton, dried berries, dried tree limbs. And this year I saw a ton of dried okra in one of the, my favorite vent, uh, vendors. And y'all, it was stunning. It was so beautiful. I've never thought of it before. I've never seen it before. And I can promise you, I will be growing okra next year and it's not to eat, but it'll be to decorate with. There was also other really pretty uh, dried arrangements all through the displays there. So make sure you bring nature into your house. It's completely on trend and it's often free. The next thing I saw was so much fun. It was a blast from my past. I remember growing up as a little girl and eating on a TV tray, usually to watch a VHS movie that my mom took me to rent from the local video store, and my kids don't even know about that. But I saw vintage TV trays in quite a few of the booths there today, and I really wish I probably would have snacked some. I let them go, but I think I'm gonna have to go back and look for some more. So you might be on the lookout for some TV trays because they're awesome. One thing I saw was industrial cans. A lot of these are gas cans or oil cans. They come from um, shops and they're usually dirty and greasy and they're awesome. They're perfect for decorating on your porch just to add some rust and texture and interest. They usually have great colors and great fonts and you can mix them on top of a large cabinet or in some type of styling vignette. So be on the lookout to get these for a good deal. One thing I saw a lot of was vintage quilts. Now, these aren't new, they're always available, but I've seen a lot more of them lately and I've seen them at really great prices, which is new because usually they're very expensive, but I feel like they're a lot more affordable. So if you wanna get something that's gonna add some instant coziness to your house, then try a vintage quilt and actually use it as the blanket on your couch or across your bed. Or if you find one that's too tattered to use as a blanket, then use it as artwork or a craft supply and cut it up. So that's a great idea. The next thing I saw in a lot of the booths was a great use of the ceiling. They were using that fifth wall to decorate with, to hang things from, baskets, banners, dried flowers, things like that. So don't neglect the ceiling in your house, especially if you have rooms with smaller, lower ceilings. You can easily hang some added decor from that for a really cozy feel. 
Next, brown bottles. This one was my favorite. It's what the, I personally bought the most of on this trip and maybe because it's fall, but that brown glass is so beautiful. When the sun shines through it, I don't think that you can beat the warmth that it adds to your house. And it was very prevalent in the stores this time. So be on the lookout because this is a great garage sale find um, and thrift stores. A lot of people don't know the value of these bottles and don't want the one-off bottles and you can snag a great collection to decorate with on a dime. Next, I was kind of happy to see this one. It was orange pumpkins. You guys, the world's gone with white pumpkins and all the heirloom pumpkins and, that are green and different colors, but there was a large amount of good old fashioned orange pumpkins mixed into decor this year. So if you love orange, don't be afraid to use it. It's in style this year. Yay. Um, I saw a ton of landscape and vintage children artwork. So I thought this was interesting because landscape artwork, artwork is beautiful, but there was a lot of vintage children scenes. They were often with playing with animals. They were dressed in their Sunday best, but they were in interesting frames. And sometimes these kind of pictures can get kind of old school and tacky. And these were actually beautiful. And I saw them on repeat as I walked the fields. So once again, that's something that you can snag for a deal and maybe do a fun um, collection or gallery wall full of vintage landscape prints, something like that to add some instant age to your home. Okay, um, recreation ideas. One of the things that I love about shopping at Round Top is how many amazing ideas you can walk away with. So even if you don't spend a dime, you can get a ton of ideas on how to reuse things that you already have, or upcycle things that you see in thrift stores, even if you don't buy them at Round Top. So I always keep my eyes peeled for ideas, not just things to buy. And that's one of my biggest suggestions when you go to shops and flea markets and shows like this is make a list of ideas that you wanna take home and recreate. Okay, transferware. Transferware is one of my favorite things ever. I collect brown transferware and I was so excited to see so much of it at this show. A lot of the times it's more expensive than I wanna pay for. I'm the kind of girl who waits for a piece here and there and gets a good deal on it. But there was brown transferware, blue transferware, stunning green transferware. And you guys, I promise you, you're gonna see more and more of it because it's just a beautiful way um, if you want to decorate with it or even just to eat off of it for every day. So keep your eyes peeled for good deals on that. The next thing I saw a ton of was buttons in jars. And I don't just mean in jars like a canning jar or a vintage ball jar. They were in salt shakers and cheese shakers and just all the interesting types of bottles and things like that. It's just, it's, I think, a really great play on texture and color. And a really, a lot of them were monotone, all white. Um, buttons or all brown buttons. So that might be something you already have at your house that you could just mix with some glass jars that you already have and instantly you can re recreate the things that I saw at Round Top for basically nothing. Um, another favorite of mine that I'm always happy to see, it's been on my list before and that was silver, vintage silver. You guys, silver trays are gonna pretty much never go out of style. They're gorgeous, they're affordable, they add instant patina and warmth to your home with all the tarnish that they have on them. I adore them. So you can load up on vintage trays in thrift stores, Goodwill, flea markets, everywhere like that. So keep your eyes peeled for great trays, bowls, different size things, and layer it into your decor. It seriously adds a beautiful touch. A lot of things we saw were also from the schoolhouses. So we saw schoolhouse desks, we saw old books, we saw lunch trays that were so cute. They would be perfect if you have young kids or grandkids and you just want a fun way to serve meals and um, to use those old school lunch trays. So um, industrial lights and fixtures from old school houses are always popular as well. So make sure you're looking for any type of sale that maybe has um, items from a cleared out old school. Those are fun. Next thing I saw, kind of a few of these ideas blend together, but I saw tons of games game pieces and the game pieces are just something that you can get easily at garage sales if you buy old games at garage sales for like a dollar just take the pieces out of them and start collecting them in jars and you are good to go for a really interesting conversation starter that can sit on a bookshelf or possibly on a coffee table something like that one of the coolest items that i saw all over was just things in jars Things in mass in jars looks better. So if you have something small that you collect and you can stuff it all in a jar, whether that's nature like acorns or wasp nests, whether it's game pieces or buttons, anything like that, 
looks better when it's pulled together instead of one-offs. So put things in a jar and that's gonna be perfect for your little bitty collections. You guys, I hope you love this list. I hope you get a chance to shop at Round Top. And if you have any questions, reach out and let me know. I'd be happy to help you. If you liked these ideas, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you like this video and ring that bell and come back next time when we have more easy uh, DIY decor for a life at home redeemed. Thanks guys.